In this clip, we'll be adding some material layers on top of our existing sand. So the way we do that is we go here into Paint Terrain. And as I said, notice initially, this does nothing. So what we need to do is add some layers of materials here. So we need to make sure that we have the Resource Manager open. And I don't really know how to open it right yet, really, currently. Uh, I'm going to guess it's under, I closed it. There it is. Uh, no. Let's see, let's see. It was one of these buttons because when I clicked it, it opened it. There it is, Resource Manager, right? And so it opens it here. Uh, I actually like to have my scene and the Resource Manager open simultaneously. So obviously, if you're working on some sort of dual monitor setup, you can have it on the second monitor. But I'm just going to drag it over here to uh, the Resource Templates. Uh, sorry. We'll, we'll snap it right here. Right there, so we can just kind of tab over between the two, um, and then we'll we'll add some new materials here. And like I said, we have a preview window here as well, so we can actually preview these materials. The weird thing is, the ones we can actually use to stack, they don't preview very well. So let me show you guys what I mean. If we go to uh, shared assets, materials, I'm oh, sorry, terrain. Right, and let's select this. If we select, look at these. So here, what we'll see, these are basically our different packages, right? And each package has its own set of terrain material. So if you were looking for just different types of soil, we can say select soil and type earth grass. And what you see is there's no preview, right? Uh, the ones we do see previews for are these base. All right, here's the problem. If we use a base one, so what we'll do is we'll click Add. Are you sure you want to add layers, terrain, my terrain, blah, 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 this particular one, right? So this TR underscore base underscore rock slate A, etc. Right? And then it has this number beside it. This is basically just a number that defines, uh, this is how the system identifies it, right? So GUID. Right. This is the, the system's identifier for this particular asset. So we'll hit yes. Right. And what you'll see is as I start painting, it doesn't paint it really nicely. It paints it kind of in these, these square blocks. right? And uh, you know, I kind of like this one, actually. So we could actually replace our base material with that. Let's see, terrain material. So we'll right-click this and we'll say... I don't think I can, here it is. We'll just hit this arrow and send it over and then it, we replace the entire base material with it. Uh, but as you notice, right, we can't really paint um, these base materials. These that we see, if we add them, it paints them out in full blocks. Now, I mean, we could, I suppose, you know, like create some sort of uh, break right here to break the seam, but that's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for variations, right? So, oh. so let's go back here. Soil, let's just say earth grass, plug that in, right? And then let's remove this layer. I don't like that one. I prefer the mud. Yeah, this one oh, with a nice rock structure. All right. So, and again, uh, just real quick, you'll notice that this is one of those things where you can really tell the the advantage of having that nice triplanar project right here. So we've got the rocks coming jutting out here on the sides. But the issue is right right now we have these cool shapes, but we can't add any more terrain. And if we add a different texture, it won't show up correctly. That's because we can't use these base. These base just act as what they kind of say, which is just 
the base, what it, it's essentially covered on top of. From what I can tell, it looks like it uses some sort of layering system to add, to stack something on top. So what we do is we'll go over here to, let's say soil, right? And let's say earth grass. And notice this one, we don't see a preview. So since we don't see a preview, and, and another way is it doesn't say base, right? We can actually add this to the stack. And when we add this to the stack, we can just select it and paint with it. And notice it kind of blends it in. Right? So let's add maybe another one. Let's add this plant. Right? And notice they actually layer on top of each other. So you can have the grass with the plant on stop on top and the strength of it will uh, kind of vary depending on how how strong you push it, right? which is a, a, a really nice way to add material. So here we've got, you know, the roots on top of the plant, you know, and we can just have you know, grass on top of it as well, right? So, I mean, just a, a really, I guess, beautiful creative way to, to work. I, I really like this. You no, know, because you can essentially add layer upon layer upon layer. And here at the bottom, by the way, this is important. This shows us how much resource we're using up. So right now it's still not bad. I'm guessing this uh, 2195 is going to be the max for our scene. <coughs> And if we look at, let's look at uh, shader complexity, you know, we're in the blue, so still not bad, right? Notice here where it's just a single single shader, it's just green. But I mean, if we, if we add any sort of layering, it puts it into blue. So it doesn't matter how many layers we stack, it looks like it keeps it in the blue, which means, you know, really good for our system. <clears throat> Yeah, so a uh, big commendation to to Larian for this. It's a it's a I mean, you can really create some beautiful terrain. Um, it looks like at at very little cost to your GPU. Very cool. So that's how we add different texture layers. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, there's no way to preview, so you kind of have to guess and test. But uh, the the payoff is. You know, you've got these really, you know, just a very creative way that you can stack um, materials on, on top of each other. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time.